Hey guys, Corey Brittenham here. I'm a dad, um, Olivia is my wife and a mother, and as parents, uh, we have a real problem on our hand. Our son, Maccabee, he's two years old now, uh, he still uses one of these. So uh, we call it a binky. You might know it as a passy or, or pacifier or, or something else. Some babies suck on their thumbs, some use binkies. Maccabee is definitely a binky user. Uh, and it turns out both his mama and dada were also, uh, according to our parents, both Liv and myself. We were strong users. Maccabee is dependent on his binky and we've cut it out during the day. But anytime he sleeps, uh, during a nap, or especially overnight, he relies on this to soothe him. We just had his two-year checkup last week, and the doctor said that uh, if he keeps using one of these, his, his mouth is going to sort of mold and form around it. The day has finally come. Uh, it's time to, once and for all, get rid of the binky. Okay, here's Maccabee. Say hi. Hi. And see yourself. Dada. This is the camera and that's the microphone right up there. Well, how do you feel if we were to be done with binkies? No more binkies. Is it okay? No. But the doctor said we have to stop. And you're a big boy, right? Yeah. We've been trying to replace Maccabee's binky with a stuffed animal or a blankie, blankie, but it hasn't really worked. No. This duck could be your comfort item. Yeah. You could just sleep with that. Yeah. I thought it might bring Maccabee closure if we held some sort of ceremony to get rid of the binkies. We have to find all of our binkies because we're going to get rid of them. <laughs> Which is not very motivating, but that's why we're gathering. Why is that? You don't want to say goodbye to the binkies? Me, me. You have five. Okay, can you put them in here? Good job. Can you please put this one in? No. Yeah. They the all deal. have to go in. Get rid of them all. Good job. We tried to keep things light and fun, yeah, but it kind of felt like we were walking on eggshells. <laughs> Wait, psych. <laughs> That's not how this works, mister. We gotta put all of them in, baby. No! <laughs> okay, put it in. Yeah, okay. And then we can do it. We dance ended up party. enticing him with a dance party. Put it in and that will start music, okay? <gasps> Good job! But it didn't seem like he fully understood what was going on. Thank you, Binkies, for over two years of helping Maccabee to sleep, no. of helping calm him down on car rides and road trips. Uh, thank you for just being his source of calm and, oh, definitely not that, in just uh, a lot of chaotic times. It's been our go-to and we've really appreciated it. And now let's say goodbye Bye, forever. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Bye, Pinky. Bye, Pinky. <laughs> High five. No. Now only oh. time would tell how Maccabee would respond. Why? He wants a ride on your back. As the ceremony ended, we managed some fleeting fun as we awaited the inevitable storm as the sun began to set. It was hard to watch as he felt around for a binky that was now in the bottom of our trash. Baby. 
seconds turned into minutes. It became tempting to give up and give in. And I even went back into the trash to get his bankies. But that was because we wanted to keep one for his keepsake box, or so I told myself. But then, the impossible started to happen. And before we knew it, silence. You want to do an interview? We can yeah. interview Heidi. Hello, hello. Last night was the first night without a binky, and Maccabi blew away our expectations. He did great. Uh, I mean, he took a little while to fall asleep, which he usually does. Instead of stirring, you know, he was crying. Uh, but he, he fell asleep within, what, 45 minutes? Was later, it hard I to think? fall asleep without your binky last night? Were you sad? Yeah. Do you want to read this book tonight? It's called Rama, <laughs> Lama Lama Red Pajama. Mama, Mama, read that. The first night, Maccabi proved he could still sleep through the night without a binky. But could he fall asleep without crying for an hour? The answer was an astounding yes. And then morning came. Tonight is your third night without a uh, binky. How are you doing? Hi. Do you miss your binky? No. Maccabee's been doing so great sleeping and transitioning without his binky. Uh, we're gonna go maybe pick out a betta fish. Is that uh, because he got well, his binky? We have been planning on getting him a fish beforehand. Since his birthday. Since his birthday, but we thought this was, would be a good time. So are you excited to pick out a fish, Maccabee? Yeah. Maybe like a Nemo? Maybe? Do you want Nemo fish? <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get a clownfish, but... No, uh, we're getting a betta fish. Color kind of beta fish. Yellow. Do they have yellow? I don't think I've seen a yellow. Pink. You want to get pink? your own yeah. dino? A baby a dino? Pink dino. Pink dino. Pink dino. I got his paws. Let me pet him. He'll just lick you. No, no, no. up our first vlog because you don't use a binky anymore. So what did we learn from this experience? Uh, we learned that vlogging with a two-year-old is not the easiest thing in the world. You okay? We learned that Maccabee's a great sleeper and he always has been. We sleep trained him when he was six or seven months old and he slept 
slept through the night ever since. Uh, I thought it was mainly due to the binky, but we took away the binky and he still sleeps through the night. He's just a great sleeper, and I don't think it's anything we're doing. I think it's just Maccabi. Okay, let's sleep at all. Nana, hey Nana, hey Nana. And now we're talking to Nana. All right, thanks guys.